Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sign of the product of an array. In this question, we're given an integer array called nums and we need to find the product of all the values present inside the integer array nums. And using this product, we have to determine the sign of the product. If the sign of the product is a positive number, then we have to return 1. If the sign of the product is a negative number, we have to return minus 1. If the product is equal to 0, we have to return 0 as the output. Now let's take a look at few examples and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example given to us. This is the nums array. This array might consist of three types of elements, positive integers, negative integers or zeros. And now we have to find the sign of the product of the array. So instead of finding the product of the entire array and then checking its sign, you can use the mathematical principle where if you multiply two negative numbers, you get a positive number. So using this concept, you can find out the number of negative numbers and then determine if the final output is going to be a positive value or negative value. So here you can see if you multiply two negative numbers, it gives you a positive value. If you multiply three negative numbers, you get a negative number. So here you multiply two minus ones, which will give you plus one. And again, you multiply plus one into plus one, which will give you plus as the output. So using these two observations, you can deduce a conclusion that so the first observation is that if the number of negative numbers is even, then the output will also be a positive value. And the second observation is that if the number of negative numbers is odd, the output will be a negative product. So now using this observation, you can count the number of negative numbers in the input array nums and then conclude the sign of the product using the count of the negative numbers. So let's start off by iterating through the input array nums from left to right from the starting index till the end of the array. So we start from i equal to zero i is pointing at 0, we check if it is a negative number, yes it is a negative number as it is less than 0. So you increment the negative count variable which I have declared here, so 0 will become 1. Now go for the next element, i is pointing at 1, check if it is a negative number, yes, so increment the variable neck count. Go for the next element, check if it is a negative number, yes, so increment the variable. Go for the next element, check if it is a negative number, yes, so increment the count. Go for the next element. Check if it is a negative number, no, so keep moving forward. Check if it is a negative number, no, so count will remain the same. Check if it is a negative number, no, so count will remain the same. And now we reach the end of the array, so you can end the iteration. And now we have the value 4 for the number of negative numbers. Since this is an even number, the output will be plus. Since the output will be positive, you return 1 as the output according to the requirements. So 1 will be the output. Now you have to handle one more case that if there is a zero inside the input array. So for example, instead of minus two here, there was a zero. So here you can see there is a zero inside the array. So let's repeat the same process, but you have to do one more check. Check if it is a negative number. Yes, so increment the count. Go for the next element. Check if it is a negative number. No, but it is a zero. So whenever you find zero, the entire product of the array is going to become zero because anything multiplied by zero will give you zero. So as soon as you find an element zero inside the array, you can return 0 as the output directly. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums. And the return type is an integer because we have to return either 1, minus 1 or 0 as the output. So as I've said, let us find out the number of negative numbers inside the nums array. So to find out the number of negative numbers, I'm using a counter called negative counter, which will be initially 0. And now using a for loop, I'm going to iterate through the input array nums from starting index till the end of the nums array. Now if an element inside the array is equal to 0, it means the entire product will be equal to 0, right? So the element pointing at i inside the nums array is equal to 0. So whenever you find a 0 inside the nums array, you can directly return 0 as the output because the overall product will be equal to 0. And if the product is 0, we have to return 0 as the output. And now here, using an if statement, I'm checking if the current number we are accessing is a negative number. Negative numbers are less than 0. So if you find a negative number inside the array, increment the counter, negative count, each time you find a negative number. So this for loop will happen for all the elements inside the nums array. And you find the number of negative numbers inside this variable neck count. And now using the math concept that if you multiply two negative numbers, it leads to a positive number. So if the negative count is an even number, it means you always get a positive number as the output. So if there are four negative numbers, you can form two pairs of negative numbers. Each of them will be multiplied and you get a positive number plus plus. 
and when you multiply two positive numbers it's always positive so using an if statement you're checking if the number of negative numbers is an even number so using the modulus operator whenever you divide it by two the remainder should be zero so if the number of negative numbers inside the nums array is an even number then you return 1 because the overall product will be a positive value. Since x is positive, you return 1 as the output. So if this condition fails, it means that the number of negative numbers is an odd number. So if there are odd number of negative numbers, the product will always be a negative value. So if the product is negative, you return minus 1 as the output. So you return minus 1 as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are iterating through the input array nums from left to right. So n is the length of the nums array. And the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to find the output. That's it guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.